Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Democrats always tell us that they are following the science. In 1977, Governor Jerry Brown warned of drought disaster in California and said they faced hard choices. He said California was facing a disaster of immeasurable magnitude. The specter of drought has been gathering momentum not only in California but across the country, the Democratic governor declared. This is an era of limits and there are very hard choices to make. And scientists understood exactly what was causing the drought in 1977. They said it was caused by global cooling and expanding Arctic ice. But Democratic Party science has changed. California droughts are now caused by global warming and melting Arctic ice. According to Scientific American, the laws of science have reversed themselves over the past 40 years. And experts say that the drought in California is threatening to kill trees which are thousands of years old. The same trees in California which have survived much worse droughts in the past. The New York Times reported this in 1994. Severe ancient droughts, a warning to California. Beginning about 1100 years ago, what is now California baked in two droughts, the first lasting 220 years and the second 140 years. Each was much more intense than the mere six-year dry spells that afflict modern California from time to time, new studies of past climate show. The findings suggest that relatively wet periods like the 20th century have been the exception rather than the rule in California for the last 3,500 years and that mega droughts are likely to recur. And not only did the New York Times know about the multi-century droughts in California, but the Los Angeles Times did as well. The San Jose Mercury News published this graph showing the history of California droughts going back to the year 800. I annotated the graph myself with these explanations of the causes of the drought. These massive multi-century droughts of the past were all natural, but experts say that recent much smaller droughts are man-made. And experts also say that California's redwood trees survived these multi-century droughts in the past, but the shorter ones we have now are going to kill them. Nothing which Democrats refer to as the science actually makes any sense. There were times in the past when the press would occasionally report factual information about climate, but that almost never happens anymore. And when Democratic politicians say they're following the science, what they're actually doing is corrupting science with their politics. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this junk science for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.